Okay, uh, today I want to cover more of this time connection uh, with Revelation and the 477 minutes uh, that I talked about in my last video uh, with the guide stones and how 477 minutes is 33.13 percent of a day uh, and 33 13 is the 24th star number I want to talk more about uh, this 477 and the 33 13 and uh, the day I put out this video uh, 33 13 the color of wormwood is blue uh, this was June 24th and I got a comment on this video uh, that left a link to this article from CNN and it says mysterious explosion in a German cornfield was probably a World War II bomb and this article is from Monday June 24th as well and supposedly a dud World War II bomb uh, exploded in a cornfield in Germany and the measurements of the crater were 33 feet wide and 13 feet deep, a 33-13. And it's very interesting that it was in Germany, because that's going to be one of the focuses of my video. And I'll show you why we got this article and the 33-13 about Germany. Also, June 24th uh, is the Masonic... Uh, holiday, I guess you could call it, of St. John's Day. But I'm going to be talking more about this 3313 here. And I'm going to be also talking about this 1288. And the reason the 1288 is significant and how that relates to Germany. Uh, I'll show you guys that here, but uh, 811 plus 477 is 1288. Uh, but for now, I want to go back and show you uh, another 3313 uh, in relation to Jupiter. And this goes back to the Lion of Judah. And the reason I'm looking at this is that Jesus, uh, another name uh, for him is the Lion of Judah. And this is from Revelation 5.5. 5. So I want to look at Jupiter, the king of the planets. And you'll see how all this is connected here as we go along. But this is the last time, I'm going to look at the last time Jupiter entered the constellation Leo the Lion. And I've already got this written down, but I'll just show you guys on here. These red lines here are the boundaries for the constellations. But the last time Jupiter hits Leo, the constellation Leo, was on 6-9-2015. And Jupiter travels through Leo And nearly comes out of Leo, but stays in, goes into retrograde motion. But eventually it exits the constellation Leo on 8-8-2016. Eight, so we have it entering Leo on 6-9-2015 and exiting on 8-8-2016 and this was 426 days and the 426 reminds me of the date of Chernobyl Chernobyl disaster was on 426-1986 and so I want to look at the Chernobyl disaster 
uh, in relation to this date as well, these two dates. And if we go back to 4-26-1986, from Chernobyl to the day that Jupiter leaves Leo, the constellation, is 30 years, 3 months, 13 days, which is another 3313, the 24 star number. And remember that 3313 uh, is the position of Revelation 811, the falling Wormwood star, between 612 and 911, the great earthquake, and the angel of the bottomless pit. That's where we get the 3313 from. So I just wanted to show you the last time Jupiter went through the lion. And then if we come up to this year, I want to show you something interesting as well. If we track Jupiter here, this line right here is the galactic equator. And Jupiter is going to cross the galactic equator on 12-4. On December 4th, 2019, Jupiter crosses the galactic equator. And what's significant about the date of December 4th, 2019, is that is the day that the Geminid uh, meteor shower begins. Uh, the Geminid meteor shower begins on December 4th, 2019. And it goes to December 17th, 2019. But it's interesting that Jupiter, uh, also known as the Wood Star, and Wormwood is also known as the Planet of the Crossing. So the day it crosses the galactic equator is the beginning of the Geminid meteor shower. Uh, but I'm going to go back here and talk about this German connection here. So I showed you the 477 is 33.13 percent of a day. If we add 811 to 477 we get the 1288. Show you this next slide here. So I'm going to look at the World War One and World War Two relationship to Germany. Uh, the United States uh, declared war on Germany on 4-6-1970 in World War I and in World War II the United States declared war on Germany on December 11th, 1941. That's a total of 1,288 weeks. Comes back to our 1,288, the 811 plus 477. And something else I wanted to show you guys, because I'm talking about the date of 1222, 2019, as the beginning of World War III. But if we go back and look at the Pulse nightclub shooting, that was on June 12th, 2016. We had the shooter at the Orlando nightclub. His name was Omar Mir Sadiq. That was his full name. And that summed to 667 in Jewish Gematria. And I'll show you this real quick. And the base 10, base 12 relationship was 677. We have the 477. Base 10, 667 is 477 and base 12. And if we go from the day of the Pulse nightclub shooting to 1222, 2019, it's 1,288 days. And the German connection is, is that we're told that 
The shooter used a Sig Sauer rifle. He used a Sig Sauer MCX automatic rifle, semi-automatic rifle, for our German connection. And what else is interesting here? Uh, 612. This obviously goes back to Revelation. Uh, 612 references the Great Earthquake. And something else I want to show you here. Let me find it. If we look at the official declarations of war by the United States, World War One and World War Two were the fourth and fifth wars to be declared, officially declared. And post World War Two, uh, to be an official war, it had to be approved by the United Nations Security Council. So the last official war was the first Libyan Civil War, so this was the 12th war. So World War III will be the 13th war. So World War I, the 4th, World War II, the 5th, and World War III, the 13th. And together that's a 45-13, the 4th, 5th, and 13th. And 45-13 is the 612th prime, going back to the reference to the pulse shooting on 612 and also Revelation 612. And also another German connection here to Revelation. Uh, if we look at the presidential trips, international presidential trips made by Barack Obama. His first presidential trip was February 19th, 2009, and he went to Canada. And I've talked about Canada before, how I believe Hudson Bay will be the location or the big, uh, ma uh, the major event of World War III will happen in Canada. But if we add 404 weeks for the 404 verses of Revelation. If we add 404 weeks to 219.09, we'll add 404 weeks for the 404 verses in Revelation. That gets us to November 17th, 2016. And so we'll see where Barack Obama was on November 17th, 2016. And on November 17th, 2016, he was in Germany. So you have your Canada and German connection with Revelation and the 404 weeks. And I've talked about before how we're going to go from President Trump back to Obama. Uh, at the either the end or the beginning of uh, the events of Revelation, Obama, Trump, Obama. Let's see, check my notes here. Oh, as far as the, I've shown you that guys the coded. Uh, creation dates of these Wikipedia pages, and if we look at the Lion of Judah, the Wikipedia page here, and when it was created, it was created on September 21st, 2003. So I want to check that date in regards to my 1222 date. And 921.03 the 1222 is 848 weeks. And that goes back to the Space Needle. I've showed this many times before, but there are 848 steps in the Space Needle. That 848 
uh, shows up a lot. And it's always a reference to the 848 steps of the Space Needle, kind of the symbolic stairway to heaven. And also one more date I want to show you guys. Uh, if we look at the Chernobyl, the creation of the Chernobyl disaster Wikipedia page. That was on September 3rd, 2002. And to the date that Jupiter hit the lion that I showed you guys here, the day that Jupiter, the last time Jupiter hit the constellation Leo, from 9 3 2002, the creation of the Chernobyl page to the time that Jupiter or the Wood Star hit the constellation of Leo was 666 weeks. Another interesting number here. Uh, no doubt that tracking this position of Jupiter is very important. So I just wanted to show you guys the 1288 and how it connects to Germany, World War I and World War II. Uh, there's a lot of German connections to the riddle of World War III and the events of Revelation. Okay, guys, uh, I guess that's it for today. Um, probably going to eventually get to Revelation 1919. Um, some very interesting things with Revelation 1919 that I want to show you, how it connects to all these dates and stuff as well. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching.